Alrighty gamers and gamers, what's going on? My name is Tenek127 and in today's video I want to talk to you about the Hex Gaming Rival PlayStation 5 controller. Now, spoiler alert, I've actually already unboxed the controller. I actually did the unboxing on my TikTok channel. Here's the controller right here. I got the um the all black one. And it's uh it's a beautiful controller. As you guys can see right here, I got the um, the adjustable analog sticks. I got my right stick a little bit higher than my than my left stick. It comes with the interchangeable um, rear buttons, just like the Xbox One did. So you can change your controls to work on either of these back paddles. If you want to do things like reloading or crouching on these rear paddles, which if you play first person or third person shooters, I'm going to highly recommend you do so. But there's going to be two versions of this video. One version will be on Tenek FPS where I play the new Splitgate Arena of Warfare on PlayStation 5 using this controller and showing you guys how it helps me improve my game. Now, some awesome features about this controller, like I said, comes with a little box of um, interchangeable analog sticks and stuff like that. Longer analog sticks, they help give you more curve for your, for your, um, for your aim. I've explained that in a previous video, but um, there's two really unique features about this controller that I really do like and I think that they should consider adding on to the Xbox version. Um, for this controller specifically, I don't know how they did it, but um, this one has permanent trigger stops in it that you can't turn off. Meaning the triggers don't go all the way down on this controller and there's no way to shut them off. I think that's honestly a good comfortable thing, especially for um, first person shooter games and can probably help your reaction time and a lot of RPGs, especially in PvP moments as well. Imagine swinging a sword, like in Demon Souls or something, right? And having to push the trigger all the way down, like you do on this basic PlayStation 5 controller. And the sword doesn't swing till your trigger gets all the way down. Well, on this controller, your sword will swing as soon as you tap it at the top. So your reaction time will be a little bit faster. Also, It'll give you, it'll improve you because you also have that better frame rate running on PlayStation 5 as well. There's a lot of advantages these controllers can give, and I want to demonstrate that in today's gameplay. So, um, if you're playing, if I'm, if you're watching this video and I'm playing on Tenek FPS, I'll be playing Splitgate, having my reload and crouch programmed to these rear paddles here. So, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy the video. Special thank you again to Hex Gaming for sponsoring this video and hooking me up. With this free controller make sure you all use promo code to neck 127 at hexgaming.com to get yourself a controller you'll get you five percent off using my promo code and i'll see y'all in the next one enjoy the video oh my god dude Yeah, this is nuts. I think this is the one mode where PC players may have a little weedy teeny advantage. All right, we're keeping up though, keep it up. I don't even know the best advice to give this. I would say avoid long range gunfights, but, but close range is how easy to get a headshot too. Try sticking to the outskirts on the map. Let's go. We got these boys. 
I'm not having it today. Where you go, boy? I think for this mode, it specifically gives you these two. Would you like the burst or the single shot better? Hmm? Single? Okay. I mean, it's all about your preference, your style of play. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Through the hallway, boy. It's a cheek clapping with your name on it in here. Uh huh. Let's go. About time y'all kill me. Took you long enough. his name now salty rust <laughs> Woo! Woo! mouse and keyboard ain't gonna save you from me boy Frames you got. 